Muti ar Rahman says, Is it a sin or shirk to migrate for worldly reasons as mentioned in the hadith? Shirk? No, it is not. Migration, leaving your Muslim country to live in a non-Muslim country is prohibited. The Prophet ﷺ said, I have nothing to do with someone who goes and lives among the disbelievers or the idol worshippers. In another narration, he was giving the Pledge of Allegiance to a man and he asked him to do a number of things and among them is to not live among the disbelievers. So, basically speaking, if someone migrates for worldly reasons, if someone goes to work abroad in a non-Muslim country to gain money, to add some worldly value to his experience or life, this is permissible if it is temporary. But if he goes there and acquires a citizenship or lives there for good, this is not permissible unless it has a number of conditions. Why is it not permissible? Life there is easy, infrastructure is good, people are treated equally, so they say and claim. Uh, there's security, there's no poverty, there's no this and that, there's no injustice. These are banners and claims that if you look closely and scrutinize the lives of those who live there, you would find that it is not true. Yes. There is a lot of good in living in such non-Muslim countries. There might be a lot of fairness and justice overall. There might be a higher standard of living, but still it is a non-Muslim country. Still there are numerous sins all around you. You cannot trust your children to be brought up in an Islamic fashion. And in so many countries, you are not allowed to practice your religion freely. Maybe in some countries you can. But in the, the enmity and hatred towards Muslims, especially uh, uh, immigrants, is growing up. And you can see that in the way they behave against Muslims. If Anything that is considered to be hostile or a crime committed, they would immediately say the first suspect must be a Muslim. This is well known. They fight the freedom of religious practice. Women are unable to wear the niqab in France, in, in so many parts of Europe. And I've always said this, and I would like this to be widely spread all over these Muslim, these non-Muslim countries. Our sisters who are prevented from wearing the niqab and they will be fined for wearing the niqab, just simply wear a medical mask. No one can stop you from wearing a medical mask because there is pollution, there is flu, there are so many germs. So replace your black niqab with a green or blue uh, uh, um, medical face mask, that would do the job, inshallah. So, basically speaking, you can go to such countries if you are unable to practice your deen, if you there is turmoil in your country, like Afghanistan, Iraq, and you cannot live there without being threatened. But other than that, you may go for a year or two, but you cannot travel or migrate there forever.